Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you live from Hermosa Beach, California with our first, with my first Bowman baseball break of the day. 2020 Bowman baseball brand new lease, 12 box hobby edition, full case break, pick your team number three. At the end, there is a $200 giveaway right here. Top four names are gonna win $50 of break credit. You have to buy teams in multiples of two. Two teams get you one entry, four teams gets you two entries, so on and so forth. Um, all the paper base, we are don we're selling and donating. I guess to make a wish, LA's best, no kid hungry. Those are our three, three charities that we rotate around. In terms of paper, no paper ships at all, except for Jason Dominguez, Yankees paper, right? Except uh, Robert Posson, Oakland A's, and Bobby Witt Jr., Kansas City Royals. At the very end, we'll give away a little bit of uh, a little bit of break credit, and uh, we'll do a uh, autograph recap and other, other sort of key cards, but just mostly an autograph and some parallel recaps right there. All right, so let's actually slice this open real quick. You see that on the top camera. We're going to slide one of these out right here, and I think Nick's going to help us with, with the other ones right there. All right, so Hobby Edition is just one autograph per box on average. Thanks everyone for getting in. Now what are we watching? Oh, Houston Chicago World Series? This is game two? Why is this such, why, why was why was this such a great game? Does anyone remember why this was such a great game? Fox Sports, great games. Might have to switch to the feud. Uh, who's in this break? Who's watching this live? Pick your team three. Who's with us? I know Darren Redding is here. He's got a team or two. I know Bruce is here with the Yankees. Anyone else here? Oh, I think Ben Young was here. He's got the, uh, he's got the Cardinals in this one. Hobby three. I think I saw Mark. Mark needs needs a little Dodger Joe Mojo. Oh, what's your other team, Ben? You sure you have two teams in, in pick your team three? Am I just missing your name elsewhere? No, I don't think you have White Sox in this one. Let me double check that really quick. Yeah, Jeremy Tillman has White Sox in Hobby 3. You have the White Sox in, in 2 and 6. So Hobby 2 was last night. So that you had the White Sox in that one. All right, and away we go. Our first paper, Jason Dominguez. Actually, I need to separate chrome and paper as we go along here, just to make it easy for the shipping team. Easier. That way we can get this stuff sent out to you a little more quickly. All right, Dominguez paper. We'll go to Megan and the Yankees. Is he the real deal? I mean, his, his stuff is selling for eye-watering amounts. Let's hope so. Our first autograph is Ben Bramer to four ninety nine. That's going to be for Jeremy Tillman and the Nationals here in Pick Your Team 3. Use Neil Diaz. Sorry, throwing Luis Garcia around a little bit there.
Nick had a Dustin May autograph last night. Nice to see here. Ooh, some orange? Twenty five out of twenty five. We got Clayton Kershaw. Nice. And that old Bowman look there. That's pretty cool. And a Bobby Wood Jr. All right, maybe that's a sign of things to come for uh, for Mark N, who got my Dodgers straight up. Yeah, the blue and orange does give it a nice look. Love that orange parallel. Royals, all of those. Jay Remington with the with the Royals will get all of those. Bobby Wood Jr. is the second overall pick last year. Draft is going to be weird this year because I think Major League Baseball has drastically uh, has drastically limited the draft, if I'm not mistaken. Usually it's like a zillion rounds, right? There's a lot, lot of rosters for ball clubs to fill up, so there's a ton of rounds. But I want to say they, sh they shaved it down to like 10 rounds maybe? And I want to say there's like more than, like a lot more than that. So that's gonna, I'm not, I'm not sure how that's gonna impact the product here, but I guess maybe we'll just see. Just a lot more players. There's Tarek Skubal for the Tigers. That'll be for Matthew Shira. And a Joey Bart, Orange Shimmer. That is two out of 25. And that will be for the Giants. EA with the Giants. Big uh, big catching prospect. Maybe future, future Buster Posey is what they're hoping. Or if, I guess they're not hoping for another Hall of Fame. I mean, I guess they're hoping for another Hall of Fame. But they can't put that expectation on him. I suppose they're thinking, hey, if we can get at least... And get half a half a Buster Posey will be happy. Looks at my paper and Chrome piles. There's Adley Rush, and that's the the other big catcher. I need to uh, grab a shoebox for this. The hits in here, all the chrome cards in here. Paper can live over here. Next box. Matthew, do I think do I think select basketball will go soon? Not soon. No. 
We, we have two hobby breaks to do, and that should bring us to around 7.30 Pacific, which is going to be a little while. But if we fill it, fill it, it could be the next break. If we fill it now, it could be the next break after these two hobby baseball breaks. So it won't be soon, but it could be the very next break. Right, 40 rounds to five rounds. Yeah, my buddy, Mark saying my buddy got drafted in the 19th round, a guy you went to high school with, 33rd round. Right. So that's, that's going to be... That's going to be weird. What are those? I don't know. This is going to be weird for a lot of players because if, if 35 rounds are being canceled, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of kids not getting, you know, even if it's just minimum wage, you know, minor league baseball contracts, they're not playing pro ball. You know, where was, where was Aaron Judge drafted? You know what I mean? A lot of guys that were drafted really, really late. That, that work, that grind and work their way through the minors and make it, you know? So I think there's going to be a lot of people without jobs. I, I guess if you're, high, you're, if you're a high schooler, that might be easier. You can just go to college, you know? You can go to a place where they still, they're still going to have spring ball, right? So that's the, that's the plan for the high schoolers who are potentially going to be drafted. You know, maybe not top five rounder guys, but they could go back to college. Oh, okay. So Mark's saying they changed something where they can sign an unlimited amount of players at a certain dollar value. So like essentially undrafted free agents. What about, I wonder what happens to like the college kids who fall out of the fifth round who are supposed to be drafted, but maybe not a top five round guy will the NCAA allow them to do another year or are they just are they just out see all that all, all that all those factors are interesting All right, this is box two, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team three. Just underway. Grant Levine, Atomic. Those are nice. Kind of felt different on the back there. There's first Robert Pawson. He's another another big name here, Darren McKenzie. Gotcha. Mark saying un unlimited number of, of players for twenty grand. Gotcha. So that oh so that could help fill out those minor league rosters. Interesting. That's bad for the borderline fifth round, sixth round guy. I guess even if you're late fifth round, I'm sure your your contract is gonna be a little bit better than twenty grand. Or at least a signing bonus maybe. I don't know how that works at that round, but I feel bad for the for the guys at the cutoff point. But that's what's happening with sports. And at some point you have to draw a line somewhere. What are you gonna do with the NBA playoffs, all the other playoff seasons and whatnot? No worries, Matthew. There's Mauricio Dubon to two fifty purple paper. We got Jesus Sanchez, Speckle, to 299. And the autograph is a White Sox. There's a Lency Delgado for Jeremy Tillman and the White Sox here in Picker Team 3, Hobby 3. Yeah, yeah. 
And there's a Chrome Robert Pawson for the A's. Okay, there you go. Mark saying minor league contract, six round, three hundred thousand dollars. So there could be someone there could be a guy on the cusp of the fifth and final round and then the sixth round who a ball club could just snag for twenty grand instead of the three hundred grand that he could get. Tenth round about hundred and forty five thousand dollars, see? So the, the, the economic impact of, of the baseball rounds being slashed could be, for the individual player, could be crazy. Curtis saying baseball and soccer players make way too much. So you're on the, it's Curtis is on the owner side. He sides with the billionaire owners. Let them, let them keep their billionaire money. I, I argue that they're 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 not they're not paid enough relative to well at least baseball anyway relative to what they what kind of revenue they bring and the revenue the club's making Salary cap in baseball is a joke. We pay, yeah, there is a tax. You can lose draft picks too, which is kind of important for baseball at certain levels. But I don't think there should be a cap really. Should be increased maybe. Salary cap is exactly what the owners want. They don't want to play their pay players as much. Parody, well, parody is a different conversation. If you're talking about parody, yeah. Same with basketball too. I think I think they have to fix something about how you're commentated for the draft is really the issue there, because a lot of a lot of teams are going to tank because they want to get those high high round draft picks. So there's a lot of tanking that happens. That's a situation. I mean. The Astros tanked for years, you know, to, to get all those draft picks to build those World Series teams, and then they went ahead and cheated too, but it's a different story. But Cubs did the same thing when when uh, the old Red Sox GM went to, blanking on his name, went to uh, the Cubs. You know, he employed the same sort of thing. Cubs tanked for two or three solid seasons. Shed payroll, saved up a bunch of money, you know, did all that stuff. There's J.J. Bladé to 125, Aqua, Shimmer for the Marlins, Rick K. So that's where you have to figure, figure out in sports draft. If you're the worst team in an English soccer league or any of the soccer leagues around Europe and South America, if you're if you're the worst team, you're getting sent down a division. That's your punishment. You get punished. In America, we what we do is we reward the we reward the worst team with the best, you know, player coming out of whatever college or high school. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is totally embarrassing for for players to for teams to tank. You know. However, that's kind of the way the system is built. I heard a great idea. This is not an original idea from me, but I heard a great idea where you take the so let's say for example basketball right one through eight make the playoffs right the ninth team right here that just misses the playoffs gets the first overall pick or the lottery balls to get the first overall pick right so there's always so there'll always be teams fighting for the playoffs Right, the worst team still gets still will still get screwed, but that'll just make them work harder to fight for playoffs on next year. I think that will that will eliminate tanking. What? I'm on camera, right? Yes, you are. Just an angle. Yeah, there he is. There's Nick right there helping out. So I think I again that's that's not an original idea I came up with, but I I heard that idea and I was like, what? That's not a bad idea. That that I. You know, a lot to see it in, in practice, but I would imagine with Grant Little, that would keep teams competitive, wanting to be competitive, because you're not going to be rewarded for finishing last. Yeah, baseball drafting is hard, but the Astros and the Cubs have, have proved that that formula can work. Now, see, I, I disagree with the a hard a hard cap is tough because you know what happens with a hard cap. You, we see this in the NFL. Hard cap. There's Miguel Cabrera, by the way, Tigers. Uh, lets a lot of like fan favorite players go. They're just like, oh, sorry, salary caps in the way. You know, we can't hold on to our homegrown superstars, so we have to let them go. And there go your superstars. I mean, they're probably going to leave for the money anyway. The NBA have like the what the, the the super mega, what's the super mega money that you can you can make? Yeah, the max. Those two, yeah, super max, Sorry. mega max, ul ultra max. But even those players are still abandoning their team. So I guess maybe it doesn't really matter. But but that gives ownership more more time to say, oh, sorry, we can't. That player turned into a superstar. We can't hold on to him because of the tax or because of the salary cap. Womp womp. You get a lot of owners saying that. So, I mean, you gotta have some kind of cap, but I think I think a hard cap is, is, is kind of difficult. I sure did. Very noticeable. Very noticeable, right? The 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 fish knife Almost also cut through the box, but I was yeah, doing it first. The fish knife also has a new blade in it. That one actually I just flipped around. Oh, that makes sense. Were you talking to me? Yeah, I need a couple favors. Grab a box a here. Favors like that. Okay. Makes a sign helps players move around. It's Aqua Shimmer to one twenty five. I don't know. I don't know if a lot of fans would would agree. I don't. I don't want the. I guess I don't want too much player turnover. You build more. You fans can build more relationships with with players that are that are staying in cities longer. Yeah, sure. You know, Kawhi going to Toronto was exciting, but that was just for a year. He bails and goes to L.A. So I mean, I don't know. I, I guess we're just different perspectives. I'm more a pro pro uh, pro player. Because 
I think owners always cry poor. You know, they're always like, oh, can't afford these guys. Or But no one's selling any professional sports teams. Not too many people are. <laughs> Why? Because they're, they're always increasing in value. Those guys aren't poor. Maybe, maybe they're complaining about P&Ls from year to year, but in the long run, you don't see any people selling teams. No one's selling ball clubs. Very few people are. If, if it was such a bad business, people would be selling, selling off teams all over the place. The owners are fronting all the risk, though. True. It's out of four ninety nine, but it's a limited risk. How long do these players actually last? The owners are going to own their te own those teams for decades, upon decades. What's Mike Trout's value after his five hundred million dollar contract? especially if he wins a World Series. And they use his name and likeness for, for decades to come. Bank off that. They're not paying him for that. Maybe it'd be interesting if players can have can have own shares in their team in a, in a certain way. Could be interesting. But I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of sympathy for billionaire owners. Oh, they're fronting all the risk, boo-hoo. I mean, really, it's only the superstars who are getting that kind of prime money. You know what I mean? Not very many people are getting that Bryce Harper money, that Mike Trout money. You know, very few players are, are, are getting that. Most of the time, it's just it's just relatively regular dudes who probably aren't getting paid as much as they should be getting paid. That's how capitalism works, though. Why put a cap on capitalism? Then we then then you should be arguing for no for no uh, salary cap. No salary cap. Let 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 all the rich owners just do whatever do whatever they want to do. Screw the small market teams. It's capitalism. You should be arguing for no salary cap at that point. Do I think Angels will be World Series contenders with Prime Trout? How many more years do you think Trout will be in his prime, Darren? How old is he? 27, 28? Five years, five, six years of like MVP level trout? They better. <laughs> uh, the Angels have a lot of work to do. I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not too thrilled with, with the, with the ownership. Ownership, Artie Moreno took the Angels from from Disney and then took them to the next level, which I think was crucial, which I think was very important. I mean, he, he should be he should be respected for that. But I don't know if if he's gonna be able to take it to the next level after that. Can't maybe, I don't know, maybe he can, but some bad decisions they signed off on. Alvin Poole's contract, Jeff Hamilton Josh Hamilton contract. Um you know, the Skaggs thing is an, it could be a bad, a very bad look if, if there's investigations that come out and say that all this, you know, was happening under his watch. You know, they, Josh Hamilton, I know it was kind of on him, but he relapsed too. What, what kind of support was the club giving him? You know, 
know, so maybe there's, it's not Moreno's fault, but maybe there's some uh, decision making or he's putting the, giving the wrong decision makers a, uh, putting them in positions of, of control there, you know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, none of the investigators have come out yet, but. All right, Adam Hall, Orioles. Isn't there a DL Hall on the Orioles? That's Chad Wright. No, not really. Not related, I guess. All right. Yeah, their farm system, Angels farm system, aside from a very, few very bright spots like Joe Adele, their farm system needs a little work. I don't think Baseball America has them rated very high. They traded away this guy. Um, so yeah, there's Nick Lodolo to 150. Atomic for the Reds. That's a nice one for Steve from the Reds, last ball mojo. Angels have some work to do, though. Nice Jason Dominguez paper. I think one good thing is that they're gonna they're gonna shed that Pujols contract soon, so they'll they'll have some. They got guys like Joe Adele coming up the ranks, so I think they'll have they'll have a, some some couple talented guys and a bit of uh, spending cash, it's a bit of money to play with. You know, they already got um, Rendon, right? So we'll see how we'll see how he turns out. We still have Otani. Got to keep him healthy. People like the manager, right? Madden. He's good. Good coach. Was that a, oh, dang. I thought that was a red for a second. I just saw a bit of that peeking out, and I was like, dang. Ben says, personally would love to have them eat some of Poole's contract and trade him to St. Louis. I don't think they're gonna eat any of that contract. But I could see Pujols signing like a a one-year deal to end his career in St. Louis. Maybe if the universal DH actually happens. There's Michael Baez, gold paper to 50. All right, there you go. That's what Ben's thinking, too. Let him be the DH. There's a, a, a Ramis Aidman to 499. And a Hunter Bishop Orange Shimmer to 25, going to Chad and the O's. Chad and the Giants, sorry. Or different orange team. That goes to EA and the Giants. Megan and Bruce. I think this is our first Bobby Wood Jr. paper for Jay Remington, or maybe our second one. I like the Bowman logo right, right in his mitt. Yeah, it's like he's catching the Bowman logo. Balancing it. Yeah, I like that. Luis Robert, Gunnar Henderson. All right, there you go. That here, paper there. Another box here. Let's 
swig of water there. All right. Moving on. This is still Pick Your Team 3, ladies and gentlemen. And Hobby 4 coming up right after this. Yeah, I probably won't be on tonight. Uh, okay. How many breaks we have? No, that's fine. Left. Uh, it looks like everything is at like one left. So like if everything sells out, it's not like it's all going to go tonight. Yeah, so just, just keep in mind, folks. These are kind of longer breaks, so and I don't know how how, how long I'm going to last tonight, to be honest with you. So just get your breaks locked in, and then there'll probably be some that are just going to be pushed to tomorrow. Reset that sleeve schedule. Another Robert Possum for Darren McKenzie and the A's. A couple papers and now a chrome one, Darren. Yeah, I mean, we're already booked up until 7.30 Pacific, ladies and gentlemen. So, I mean, that's basically like, yeah, one more hobby case. Maybe a jumbo and a short break or something like that. But maybe one mixer, but we're pretty much pretty much almost done, actually, with the length of these breaks. So whatever break you're in, folks, I would just lock it in tonight now. Yeah, Jason will be live tomorrow. So. Yeah, Jason's going to be on at 2 tomorrow. And he'll be, he'll be fresh, fresh arm out of the bullpen. He's trained today, right? Mm hmm yeah. yeah, he was here from, like, 11 to, and then he had finished a break by 2 o'clock, and then I came in. All right. There's Connor Cannon, Giants autograph. That's 219 out of 250. Purple Chrome Auto for EA and the Giants. Mark, Mar now will want you to go all night. Yeah, the, this... We do need some fireworks in this break, Mark. I feel like we've got some, we've pulled some decent Wits and Pisanos and Domingai. There's another Dominguez right here, spanning the globe. But uh, yeah, we need some, we need some, some kabooms here. He's got bone in personal too. It's true, yeah. Yeah. So. Personals are, are are in the in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. So visit him. I think Teddy Teddy's fresh. He's he's gonna be going strong. Oh no, paper. Just paper. No autos. Paper. No autos. We're hard to make into this stack. <laughs> See, this is this is why we can't go too late. Not sharp. Jason Dominguez Chrome for Megan and the Yankees. All the all those add up. All of those add up. And one one big autograph? It's Prophetsville. And a gold Will Wilson to 50 for the Halos. Angels edition for Arthur AP with the gold chrome. Hmm? Yeah, yeah the trade happened a while ago, so yeah, I don't know why they didn't update him. I got another box right here. Good luck, everybody. Uh, 
have uh, some other nine bombing breaks in the store tomorrow. Ooh, there you go. Riley Green Atomic. These are not numbered, but the, obviously they will ship all chrome ships. Are there books in this? Darren Redding says you want to see one of the out of ten like, autographed book cards. It's like uh, pretty rare. I think it's called like the ultimate book. Usually wow. Involved. Some, I think like a few years ago there was one with 50 autographs, like the one we what? did in Luminary. What? It was like 50 prospects. That might have been like six years ago. Jason Dominguez, paper. The problem with prospects is like, okay, half those guys in the book aren't going to pan out. Right. Maybe more. But it's kind of cool. <laughs> That'd be a brutal random item. Yeah. Hans Krauss at 25. There's got to be multi, multi, a bunch of multi teams, though, right? Yeah. Bishop Sankey's we got 2014. Brian Mata, blue shimmer to 150. Gosh, don't they know where Bishop Sankey is? Oh, God. That's to Mark and the Red Sox, Mark B. And Bobby Dub. Yeah, I hit a dual Dodgers last Jay year. Oh, did you? I hit it today. 5 a.m. or so. About 12, Amaya, 12 hours ago? Amaya and Vargas. Dual. Oh, nice. I forgot who I hit it for. That was cool. I've hit a ton of Dodgers. I hit a... I saw the dust in May. Did you see the red auto I hit? No. I hit a red shimmer auto of uh, Miguel what? Vargas to five. That was the last hit I hit, when, and then you did the wow. train whistle. Oh, yeah. That was, that was the last one. There's Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome this time for Remington. Darren Redding went to high school with Bishop Sankey. Oh, really? Well, what was he? What was he like? I'm sure he was a beast in high school. <laughs> Mark, I have a Bishop Sankey. I thought I was ring for the right price. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring the XFL back to be XFL MVP. It's crazy though, like to to think how many. I mean, all those guys are the best of the best in high school. Then you go to the best of the best in college. That's the next level. Then then you hit the best of the best there, and then you're just like, oh, you're. You're no. Yeah, you're no good. I mean, like, you're gonna be in the league for a few years, and you're all of a sudden you're out. I mean, it's crazy. I think he was uh, in the XFL. I think he was in the XFL for a second. Maybe he had a first couple good, good games. XFL was doing okay. I, I thought so too, but decent. they can't survive the Corona. Can't survive COVID, and then and he just Vince McMahon just bailed. He's like, forget it. Ooh. Gus Varland, Atomic Autograph, 19 out of 100. That's for Darren McKenzie and the A's. Don't know much about this guy, but these Atomics are always nice. Close actually, we're getting pretty close. 
Ooh, is that a red right there? Yeah, that's what I said. I wanted you to do that first, so I gave it to you. I, do that? I was hoping you didn't see it. I was like, I want to see this right now. Well, I'm going to save it now. No, that's a good save. I don't know who it could be. If it's autographed or not. Ooh. Or it's, sometimes those inserts are tricky, you know? Yeah, like that I don't know. With a red border. But I saw the same thing, so... That's definitely a red, right? I would imagine, right? You can see that little red peeking right there? I don't know. But then then those like Bowman top that's 100 yeah. cards, Some of them have like the, these, the red socks, yeah. will kind of look a little red off. Yeah. But it didn't have the stripe. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to find out. We need a super fractor. We've no super fractors, right? How many boxes? Eight hours of Bowman. we got to get one super. If I had a super, I'm just going to go home now. Everything pushed to the mall. Yeah, just call it for the night. That's what I said. The Dominguez super auto, I would just like... I'd yep. go there. Ryan Mata, purple paper to 150. Me down. Right, you'd have to run away. Yeah. We'd be on the news and everything. Matt Libertor to 499 for the Rays. That'll be for Robert Throne, the purple paper. Ryan Mata will go to Mark B and the Red Sox. A Lux Super Auto, that'd be nice. I'll take that too. Another Bobby Witt Jr. The hobby packs are easier for me to open. But. Pattern's still a little weird. Pattern's weird, but just just on a pack stacking note, it's a little easier than jumping. Hmm. Longer though. Interesting. Pros and cons. There's like a lot of glue <laughs> on the jumbos. Jason Dominguez Chrome. So it doesn't tear very well. Hebert Ruiz Chrome. Atomic Taylor Trammell. Another Bobby Witt Jr. right here. And that old Bowman design. Yeah, I think the ratio in hobby is a little more favorable for color. That's what people always say. Yeah, more color in hobby and then more, more autos and more autos in general. Megan with another Dominguez Chrome, Bobby Wood Jr. Remington with that one. Yeah, I guess we're doing wish list, Ben. Yeah, a Nolan Gorman super, sure, sure. Jason Dominguez, spanning the globe. Bobby Witt Jr., another chrome for Jay Remington. Oh, and an orange auto for the Rays. 11 out of 25. Ford Proctor. Going to Robert Throne and the Tampa Bay Rays. Nice. Interesting name. Ford Proctor, yeah. Proctor Gamble? Third round, third round pick, too. Oh, my All right, nice. Thanks, Nick. Jason Dominguez paper helps this hobby break a little bit more quickly. Still have a ways to go, I think, but we're, we're getting there. Next box. Yeah. 
paper on this side, chrome on that side, so it'll be easier. Just want to get to that that red here in that pile. Patience. Paper Robert Possum. Matthew, you picked up two of the last three select basketball and sold out. Nice. That's only a two box break. That might be one of our last breaks of the night, though. You're not going to keep me here all, all night, Matthew. Don't worry. Don't worry about that because at some point we'll just have to push breaks to the next day. So you're good. Thanks, Matthew. I mean, I wish I was a cyborg. If I was a, if I had, if I was a cyborg, I'll, I, I would just do this twenty four seven. Just put the coin in the machine, pull the string, and be ready to go. Unfortunately, we we don't have that technology yet. It's Keone Kavako, Aqua to one twenty five. Not entirely. Ooh, a Bowman Scouts Top 100 autograph, Hunter Green. 48 out of 50, just a few off the uh, the Scout number. That goes to the Red Legs. That's going to go to Steve. Steve W., who picked up the Reds late, last spot in Mojo, strikes again. Nice. Where are you going? I don't know. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Jordan Yamamoto goes to Rick and the Marlins, Bobby Witt Jr., Royals. Royals paper, that'll be for Jay Remington. All right, let's see if I tease that red for nothing or if it's actually a red. Please be a red.
getting closer. Ryan Rollison, Atomic. Robert Pawson, Paper for the A's. Max Muncy, Hidden Finds. I don't think that's too common. Let's set that aside. Robert Pawson, Paper. Darren McKenzie with the A's. Ooh, what is that? All right. Is it really red, though? It looks red. It's Talent Pipeline Padres. All red. There it is. Four out of five. Nice. EA with the Padres. C.J. Abrams, Michael Geddes, and Taylor Trammell. I, I don't know this guy in the middle, but I know these two guys. Padres fans are pretty high on. There you go. Here's your information on those guys. Eric, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo! Nice. And a Bobby Witt Jr., 25 in the Bowman Scouts Top 100. And that's just after one minor league season. Another one for Jay Remington and the Royals. Some speckle coming up. Cole Wynn. Numbers kind of hard. There's a number right there. To 299. 13 out of 299 for the Rangers. Matthew Shira. Oh, and there's your autograph. That's quite a flourish right there. Mario Feliciano. For the Brew Crew, that goes to Ryan Redman with the Brewers. Jason Dominguez Chrome. Another one for Megan. More talent pipeline. Aaron's brother, Austin Nola. Another Bobby Wood Jr. paper. I saw that Matt Libertor for the Rays. Didn't he get traded to the Cardinals? I thought there was a trade that happened somewhere. All right, two more boxes to go. You can see on the top cam. Uh, ben saying trade was in January. Here's the first box. Second box. Good luck, everybody. Final two boxes. We're getting there. Almost there. Yeah. 
And the autograph is Bobby Bradley, rookie auto. Cleveland, Jeremy Tillman with the Tribe. Uh, so Ben saying Libertor is a Cardinal, is in the Cardinal Red for the 1990 insert card. I see. What 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 was that deal? Who went the? Did Marcelo Zuna go to the Rays? I actually have no idea what happened. I know that Libertor went the other way though. Paul DeYoung maybe. What were the deets, Ben? Robert Pawson, Chrome for the A's, Darren. Oh, Arozarena went to the Rays. Libertor is supposed to be, I mean, that's probably. That's probably good for the hobby, right? Matt Libertor on a sort of bigger bigger market team, big big baseball city. There's Luis Garcia to 250 purple paper. I would think so. If he's the pitcher that becomes the pitcher that he's supposed to be. Uh, Jose Martinez went the other way too. There's Esteban Floreal refractor to 499. For Megan and the Yankees. All right. Jason Dominguez paper. And speaking of the Cardinals, there's Paul DeYoung. Sky blue paper for Ben Young. To four Aaron Ashby, Brew Crew, Atomic. Paper in this pile, there we go. Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome. Last box of the full case, pick your team three, 2020 Bowman Baseball. We made it. Thanks for hanging. I'll do a quick little recap after this too. Just the autos and the some of the other cards there. And the low numbered ones, like that out of five. Give away a little money in this break as well.
believe Rodriguez. Luis Garcia for the Phillies, Atomic. And Damon Jones for the Phillies, blue paper for Ryan Redman. Ryan Redman with the blue. All right, last little stack here. Getting there. Is that some orange, some red? What is that? Orange? Looks more like orange now. And it's Royce Lewis. 9 out of 25. Twins Orange going to Red Dragon. There you go. Your 2017 first overall pick. We need to, we need to get him into regular MLB action. That would be hashtag good for the hobby, as we like to say. His name is Robert Pawson. His name is Robert Pawson. His name is Robert Pawson. There you go, that goes to the Oakland A's. That'll be for Darren McKenzie. And our last auto is Damon Jones, Speckle Auto, 53 out of 299. Ryan Redman with the Philadelphia Phillies, the Fighting Phils. Ebert Ruiz should be Dodgers catcher this year, along with Austin Barnes, Barnesy. Is it? Okay. I don't think it's mine. Well, maybe it's mine. I have no idea. Go for it. It's a dollar. <laughs> you don't have to pay me a dollar. Teddy should quit smoking. <laughs> All right, and we close out with a chrome Jason Dominguez. A lot of Dominguez for Megan and the Yankees. There you have it, boys and girls. Thank you very much for getting in. Appreciate it. I know it's a long break, but but it's, the juice often is worth the squeeze in breaks like this. All right, so let's go back here. Everyone who got at least two teams will get an entry. Top four gets 50. All right. All right, so stuff's alphabetized. Let's see who got. Chad has two teams. That's an entry. So does Darren. EA has two. Jeremy has three, but only two count. Still an entry, though. John. Mark B. Mark N, no. Mark S got those spots in the jumbo break. Red is also in. Rick, Robert, Ryan Redman is also in. All right, there you go. So that is a one in nine chance, or I guess four spots in nine will get a shot at the money. Top four after six. One, two, three, four, five, and six.
After six times, the top four is Darren, Matthew, John, and Mark. There you have it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll email those codes to you, so check your spam folders, too. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'm out. Bye.